With the all-new Adobe Captivate 9, you can now create virtually any kind of aesthetically attractive and instructionally sound e-learning. You can go seamlessly from storyboarding to responsive e-learning and everything else in between using a single easy-to-use tool. Let's take a look at what's new in Adobe Captivate 9. You can now use Adobe Captivate Draft iPad app to start recording your courses on the go. Create a new project and then start adding objects to your project by drawing a circle and rectangle to add shapes, a cross mark to add an image and a play symbol to add a video. To add text, simply scribble horizontally and it will give you a text box. To add content, switch to the edit mode and start populating these objects. You can also add hotspots on the slide or the objects to enable branching. To add a new slide, click the plus sign in the right corner. And to add a question slide, swipe this plus sign to the left. Here you can click add question slide and this will allow you to add a true false question, multiple choice question, matching question or a sequence question. Once you have created the storyboard, you can either share it with reviewers or send it to Creative Cloud and then you can open it in Adobe Captivate 9 and flesh it out as an e-learning course. Adobe Captivate 9 makes it even simpler to create responsive e-learning courses. You can now have up to 5 breakpoints for your responsive e-learning courses and content flows seamlessly across these breakpoints. If you don't wish your learners to see content on mobile devices in landscape mode, you can change these settings in the preferences dialog. Now you also have controls to center align your objects and apply position properties to all items of the same type. Also the multi-formatted text captions and hyperlink text will flow seamlessly in your breakpoints in responsive courses. For your geolocation enabled courses, you can now have project level geolocation action and you can also emulate locations during preview to effectively test your geolocation project. You can now convert an interactive or non-interactive object in Adobe Captivate 9 to multi-state object. To add multiple states to an object, select the object, click the plus sign and change the properties of the new object. You can also click the state view button to view all the states of the object and add additional states. Interactive objects like buttons, smart shape buttons and drag and drop elements have built in states. You can also add additional states to these interactive objects. In this example, notice how the color of the car changes on the click of a button. And in this example, you can easily go to the next and the back state by clicking these back and next buttons. And here you can see how the draggables and drop targets change their appearance based on hover, rejection and acceptance. In Adobe Captivate 9, you can now apply motion path effects and transitions to your responsive courses and even have different effects applied on different breakpoints. To apply an effect to an object, simply right click the object and select apply effect. Select the category of effect and select the effect you wish to apply. These effects are responsive in nature and will flow well on the other breakpoints. You can also add SVGs to your Adobe Captivate 9 courses. These SVGs will scale well on different breakpoints with absolutely no loss in quality. You can also edit and round trip these SVGs using Adobe Illustrator. In this version, you will find 11 brand new responsive themes with color variations and 6 new learning interactions. Besides that, you will get free access to more than 25,000 new assets with your copy of Adobe Captivate 9. Go ahead and download these people images, pre-built games and interactions, themes and other assets and start using them for building your awesome e-learning courses. 
Using the new iOS device capture feature in Adobe Captivate 9, you can record HD video demonstrations for your iOS device. Just plug in the device and start recording the actions that you perform on the device. After finishing the recording, you can make the video richer by adding mobile specific gestures such as swipe, tap and pinch to zoom. Now you can also add knowledge check questions to your e-learning courses that will not interfere with the quiz score and LMS reporting. You can use these questions exclusively for creating practice type interactions or remedial content. To add knowledge check questions, go to slides and select knowledge check slides. Select the questions you wish to add and click OK. For these knowledge check questions, you can either provide feedback on the question screen or take the learners to a different content screen. Also, now there is no need to worry about content LMS integration as you can preview your content directly on the SCOM cloud. This will help you gauge LMS compatibility and get the error logs to identify those portions of the course that need attention even before you upload the content to the LMS. And last but not the least, you can now directly publish your Adobe Captivate courses to the brand new Adobe Captivate Prime LMS. Just log into your account and create a module. This module will be added to the module library in Adobe Captivate Prime. You can further use this module to create courses, learning programs, learning plans and certifications and assign these courses to your learners. Start using Adobe Captivate 9 today to create any kind of e-learning end-to-end -end for any device.